My name is Peter Zak. I'm a jazz pianist and composer here in New York. My new album is called The Disciple. It's a trio record with Peter Washington on bass, Willie Jones III on drums. I think this album has a really good groove, and the band really comes together as a unit. I hope that people are introduced to some material they might not have heard that they'll enjoy, including my own original compositions. It's kind of unintentional that I did select tunes by piano players who were my heroes, among them Herbie Hancock, Hampton Hawes, Chick Corea. Um, and then when I was thinking of a title for one of my tunes, I thought, well, The Disciple, I'm following in the footsteps of those who kind of could come before me. The Disciple, in this case, I kind of came up with a sprightly 3-4 composition, like Cedar Walton, who I'm a big fan of, has written a couple, three, four tunes that I've enjoyed playing, and maybe I had that in the back of my mind. Montserrat has a straight eighth feel, kind of a samba. The melody is a somewhat static melody over changes that move. Then I think I came up with kind of a catchy figure, which works for the as an intro, and then it comes in in the middle of the song also, and then it kind of serves as a vamp for the drum solo. So that kind of pulls the whole tune together. The bassist and the drummer, I think, are featured. I always like to leave some space for rhythm and melody and interaction, so it's not just like one guy playing the piano and a bass and drums, just kind of accompanying. I don't really see them as accompanists. I see them as, I see it as a three-way interaction. I also did a ballad, Nightfall in Kandy. Kandy's an area of Sri Lanka, kind of beautiful area, and um, I just wanted something kind of nebulous, mysterious, something unsettled, major and minor, together at the same time. And Nightfall in Kandy is really held together by, by kind of a slow figure that is played together with the bass and piano. Well, I've always enjoyed playing the music of Monk, and I really like uh, this particular one, Criss Cross. It's, it's simple harmonically, tricky rhythmically. The main thing about Monk's music for me is it just has that forward momentum, that forward propulsion. I think my, what I do that's innovative or creative is just the way I express myself with the sound of the, the piano, kind of personalizing the harmony. And I think this album really reflects the way I want to play trio, the way I want it to sound, the material I want to play. I'm really just hoping, again, that it's personal and that it swings and that there's some surpri surprises there that occur kind of organically.